Hi guys, we're going to be playing some uh, Napoleon Total War tonight. So I'm just going to let this load and then we'll watch the introduction video because I think it's absolutely brilliant. Um, Sega. So we'll just let this play. My enemies are many, my equals are none. In the shade of olive trees, they said Italy could never be conquered. In the land of pharaohs and kings, they said Egypt could never be humbled. In the realm of forest and snow, they said Russia could never be tamed. Now they say nothing. They fear me, like a force of nature, a dealer in thunder and death. I say, I am Napoleon. I am Emperor. What an epic introduction video! It's got to be one of the better ones um, in all the Total, uh, Total War series sort of games. In that, um, it's just brilliant. Okay, so you have um, so this is Napoleon Total War. Obviously, it's based during the um, Napoleon Napoleon sort of Napoleonic Wars. Um, let me just turn my sound. Okay, so yeah. It's based during the Napoleonic Wars. Um, you can play as the. Well, we'll look at it in a second. Let's just check my graphics. Ultra. Um, very high. Here we go. Yep. Accept. Okay, so. You've got Napoleon's campaigns. Napoleon's battles, campaigns, the Cal coalition. And the Peninsula campaign. So let's have a look at the Napoleon campaigns. You know what? I still think that's a bit too loud. Right, let's get rid of music. Let's get let's keep speech for till now. Okay. Sorry about this. We'll get there in the end. Okay. So yeah, you have different campaigns in this um, this game. You've got. So you got Napoleon's campaigns, and they obviously start with the tutorial, and then his campaigns through Italy. And as you, you have to finish one to unlock the next one. So the next one will be Egypt, Europe, and then Waterloo. Um, Europe, I do, I prefer Europe because it's just a much larger sort of map and uh, campaign. And Italy, Egypt, I mean Europe as well. They are very kind of just like. As long as you take over sort of the objective, you've you've won. You could have one city and just one large army and just bum rush the objective. Um, so in Italy, it's a case of capture a certain town. Well, it's easy. You can literally just bum rush your way there. Done. Um, so it's one thing I don't really like about this game is is the time scale that's placed on the campaign objectives. Obviously, I understand it's it's more true to sort of. Um, history. Um, so you've got Napoleon's battles again, different battles fought at the time. You've got campaigns of the coalition, so this is basically Europe, and you can play it obviously Austria, Great Britain, Prussia, Russia. Um, and then you've got camp the Peninsula campaign, so this is obviously fr when France, um, you know, had taken over Spain, and this is very much sort of the sharp. TV series sort of setting um, for the majority of it, and you can play as Spanish or Great Britain. 
Um, again, I'm going to try and keep these videos on sort of 20 minutes um, groups, so they're not too long. Okay. Um, so I think I'm going to start with Napoleon's campaign. That you know, I like the troops, um, and I do like the sort of history behind it all. So we're going to start with Italy, the Italian campaign. We'll leave it on normal, normal. Um, and this might end up just being a case of bum rushing it towards the end to try and get that final objective. But you know, some like I said, sometimes it is annoying because really you just want to get into it, sort of get into um, the map. Oh, right, you can't really hear that. Right, I'm sort of skip that. You can't really hear it. So I might need to adjust. So yeah, march on Vienna. Literally all you've got to do is take over Vienna. So there's different ways of doing it. I mean, if you wanted to skip a lot of this, you could just build... Well, you can't build some ships, but you could just bum rush. I've done it before. We've just bum rushed all the way across the map. And just gone straight for Vienna. One or two large armies. Um, again, it's, it's it's not the you know it's just not an enjoyable way of playing this game. So let me just go into audio and let's turn up sound. Right, yeah. Yeah, that should do. Right, resume. Okay, so we start off with three thousand gold or. Whatever they use. Um, there's income, here we go. Yeah. So we're making 924 per turn at the moment. So we'll get a merchant house. Drops straight down to 1200. Infrastructure, can't afford that, 1500. Okay. Uh, Jean Sawyer. I think National Guard militia. What have they got here? Mm. So if I stick him in there, uh, get rid of this. Get rid of him because they're useless. Right, let's get some more. Two more line infantry for this army, and then we'll go take over Coney. We've got Napoleon here. Move him to Genoa. Okay. And then enter. Right. So the first battle, so yeah, Napoleon's got his Dragoons, six, two six-pounders, Grenadiers of the Line, Fusiliers of the Line, Revolutionary Infantry, Militia. And we're facing Militia, what, two units of Militia, one unit of Line Infantry, 12-pounder, six-pounder, so he's got, he's like got range on me, but yeah, this is an easy battle. Eugene Mercy de Argento and Lucio Grimaldi against Napoleon Bonaparte. The big bony himself. So we're defending in this, so that should give us the option to build some defences. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Ah. Sorry, I keep messing with these bloody options. So we'll keep speed up. Turn the effects down. There. Um, right. What oh, shit starting location? Hmm. 
So I tell you, I'm really going to play much of it all, actually. Right, so I'm going to pop my artillery here on this hill. And obviously they are outgunned by their 12 pounders, but they've got to come to me. Infantry, place them on the bottom. Cavalry, over it. They're not hidden, no. Strange. And the general, yeah, he'll just go here somewhere. Right, that's us. The presence of your general in proximity to his men has a moral. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> so they're gonna think they're gonna. Hmm. Ah. Crap. So there are reinforcements coming in behind me. Get dragoons in here, cause some of it. It's important to preserve the devastating impact a cavalry unit has. Two have. units of when line. In combat with cavalry. We'll face. Always charge the last few yards by double right clicking on. Get rid of him because he's annoying. Let's get these into triangle. <laughs> oh, a wedge. Um, I'm trying to trade the. Enemy infantry. They're more of a danger than the artillery at the moment. Once we've got a revolutionary infantry forming. I mean, you know what? No. You know what? Let's just slog it out, shall we? Yeah. Revolutionary infantry slug out here, right? We might lose some more men, but they're a lot cheaper to replace than cavalry. Uh, actually, dismount, they can get some pot shots in as well. Shoots at the bloody infantry, not the artillery. Uh oh. Mount up, mount up. Let's get out of here. Ah! That didn't go well, did it? Hmm. Did not plan that well. So I lost a couple of men, I lost four men, I think. Yeah. And this is going to be costly for them now. Hmm. Or not. Get out of there. Turn back around, let's charge him. Infantry. Charge. Maintaining a unit's courage and the run button on the left of the battle. Let's get this over and done with, shall we? I so it's only bloody militia. And artillery. So that's them pretty much dealt with. Alright, artillery start firing on these. Clicking on the me the flashing unit banner means the morale of their troops is wavering. Oh. 
and this is a like actual line infantry, the regular units. So a bit more of a challenge than the militia, but nothing to be worried about. I haven't really got the numbers to do anything. Right, so remove cavalry out of the way because I get friendly fire. Run infantry. You know what? You can pull to here. I'll select the fusiliers and the grenadiers. Deal with these. Um. Yeah. You know what? No, let's go all more. Infantry to deal with them. See the artillery, artillery are in them. The six pounders. Well, we'll change fire to these guys actually because I'm going to come over that hill in a minute and they're going into a bit of a dead ground. So when they pop over this hill, they should get peppered. Speed this up a bit, get our troops into position. And then let's slow it back down. See what kind of damage we're doing here. <laughs> so yeah, they're in the worst possible position to take artillery now. They're sort of on a sort of forward facing slope. So when the rounds hit they hopefully bounce off and just shred lines through the enemy. Oof, like that one just did them. Brilliant. Okay. So I love watching this. Oh. Oh, these guys, because they haven't reloaded. Crap. Um, yeah, when a full line prepares to fire. Which is, yep, there you go. Boom. And I love just sort of sitting here, just watching them drop. Um. Yeah, I mean, what a, what a shit way to fight battles, but I guess when you're firing a musket, it's not you don't really have much of a choice, do you? Right, it's so gonna try charging here, and again, this works perfectly when they're charging, and you just get hammered, and you just see them drop like that, and then they run away. I mean, credit where credit's due, the French actually had a decent army at one point. Yeah, alright then, it was a couple of hundred years ago, but they had one. Um, right, so you've got the two artillery units and the General's Cavalry. So what I like to do with this, probably the easiest way to deal with these actually, is sneak up here, up. Down in for this dead ground, come to it. So we'll do that now. We'll speed things up because it's. And the artillery are just going to keep pounding away at them. Because I haven't got the range to hit these here. So the dangerous part will be when we're coming in through this gap here. Obviously, we're then exposed to all their artillery fire. Ooh. They've rallied. Well, not for long. There you go. Bye bye. Come on, break. You're literally getting hammered. Break. Poof. Maybe one more volley. There you go. Right, so we'll stop the artillery because we don't want any friendly fire. So, yeah, this is going to be the dangerous part now. Because now their artillery will be able to hit us. So, if we move into there. Then it's not firing. See, so the AI in this game is bad. Sometimes it's really bad. 
Will let me just walk right up on them. Um, doing nothing about it. Um, so these guys are tired but encouraged. Superior local force. And tired as well. So let them have a little walk. Right, so that's the first 20 minutes. So I'm going to pause it here. And then I'll restart and we'll get back to it. Cheers for watching. I hope you follow on for the next one.